I thought I'd do a couple of bonus tutorials going into the routing of audio and MIDI in specific DAWs a bit more, as I've had a few questions about it. So the first one is going to look at using Machina inside Logic. So I'm creating an empty project here, and then adding a software instrument track to it. Now I'm adding Machina to the track, and I'm choosing the multi-channel version. I'm going for the one with 8 stereo and 8 mono outputs. Now I'll load up a project I just started working on. It's the basic groove for a heavy dubstep track, which I made by playing parts in live using the hardware in the ways I've shown you earlier on the course. Here's what I've got so far. I'm just going to increase the tempo of my session to 140 BPM. So the main drums are being played by a kit in Group A. Some percussion sounds are coming from a different kit in Group B. And I've got two bass sounds on different slots in Group C. So now I want to start working on the track in Logic. So I want to pull out the patterns into the arrangement, so I can edit them from MIDI regions there, which is maybe what I'm most comfortable doing. So first thing I need to do is to create four more software instrument tracks. And I'll name them now, so it's easier to see what's what. Now I need to make sure all tracks are routing to Machina which I can do from the environment window, simply by dragging the cables from the top of each one on the mixer into the Machina track. And then I can close that. Next thing is to drag the patterns out onto the tracks. This can be done nice and simply using the facility in the pattern section. So with pattern 1 selected here in group A, I just click on the cursor arrow symbol after which I get a window popping up here asking me how the MIDI data wants to be set up. So I choose Sounds to MIDI Notes. I can keep it on MIDI channel 1, and then I hit Apply. Then I can go back to the Pattern section and drag it out onto the track. Then I can set it to loop if I need to, and set up any loop settings in the arrangement too. The other thing I then need to do is to select an empty pattern in Machina. Otherwise, a bit like when you trigger Ultra Beat from its pattern section and a MIDI region, you get a doubling up. So now when I hit play, you can hear the drums are being triggered from the region in the arrangement. Now we can repeat this for group B. Only this time, I'm going to change the MIDI channel to 2, so that this kit is on a different channel from the main kit. Then I can drag the pattern out once again. And I need to choose pattern 2 on Machina again as well. Then that kit is playing from the arrangement 2. The bass is a bit different as I've got some melodic parts being triggered by the entire keyboard on different pads, so I need them to have their own MIDI tracks. For these I need to control click on the sound slot and choose sound MIDI settings. Then enable them, and keep the range to the full keyboard, but set the MIDI channel to 3. Then do the same for the other bass sound, but choose channel 4. Then I can choose those sounds individually, and drag out the patterns for each one onto its own track like so. And then, if I select pattern 2 again, everything is now playing from the arrangement, as you can see. And 
the audio routing is just as I showed you on the main course, but I'll demonstrate it again for you here. So what I'll do is go to the mixer in Logic and create six new auxiliary tracks. And the first three of those, I'm going to make the three main drums from kit A. So I'm selecting Machina 17, 18 and 19 as the input for those. Then if you remember in Machina, I need to click on the sound slot, then click the out switch above, after which I can change the routing to one of the individual outputs instead of just routing the sound to the group, which then goes to the main master out. The mono outputs start at output 9, after the 8 stereo outputs. So I'm choosing out 9 for the kick and snare, and then out 10 for the hat. But I need to pan the kick left and the snare right, so they're going to their own channels, and then pan the hat left as well. Then you can hear if I play the kit that the drums are routing out onto these first three auxiliary channels. The other sounds I'm going to have in stereo rather than mono, so I'm changing the aux channels to stereo. And then choosing Machina out 3 and 4 for the first track, 5 and 6 for the second, and 7 and 8 for the third. Then in Machina I'll select group B, and this time I'll route the whole group to a different output by clicking on group, and then out, and then choosing out 2. Then, in group C, the first bass sound is going to be routing to out 3, and the second one to out 4. And now I've got all the parts in the arrangement, both audio and MIDI, so I can edit and process them and construct my arrangement from there, rather than working inside Machina. <laughs> And you can of course save the project as a template before making too many changes, which you can then reopen each time you start working on a new song to have all the routing done and ready to go. See you next time.